Today's video is sponsored by Lando Lakes. Hey everybody, it's Jocelyn, AKA Grand Baby Cakes, back with another amazing dessert. Today, we are going to be making something that is so fantastic for spring. We are going to be making my blueberry lemon layer cake. This cake is a showstopper. It's got incredible citrus flavor. It's got those bright bursting blueberries that pop in and it's just incredible. This is the cake you're gonna make when you wanna celebrate, when you wanna get your holiday on, or when you wanna entertain. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to whisk up our dry ingredients. I've got some all-purpose flour. This has been sifted. It's gonna go right into my big bowl here. Then, whoo, look at that cloud. Then I've got some baking powder. Gotta have a nice leavening here so we can give this cake a nice lift. And then I've also got some baking soda. And then finally, some salt, which is always very, very, very crucial whenever you are baking anything. And give that a nice whisk. Next, I'm going to combine our wet ingredients because I love a nice, moist, tender cake. I mean, who doesn't? I love to use sour cream. So this is really one of the bases of the cake. I'm gonna put this right into our bowl. And this is room temperature because you want this to blend super easily with your batter. And then I've got some whole milk. Gonna add that right in as well. Then I also have some lemon zest. This is gonna make that cake make you wanna pucker. It's gonna really give you that great lemon flavor. I've got a little lemon juice, vanilla extract and then just gonna mix that all together as well. Now it's time to get started on our batter. To begin, I am using one of my standbys, Land O'Lakes Butter with canola oil. Now you may be thinking, why aren't you using the normal sticks of butter? But I absolutely love this for baking as well. You could, of course can use it for savory. For baking, it adds an extra layer of moistness, having the oil already in there. Plus, it really comes to room temperature so quick so I love using this for baking. Get that in and then I also have some additional oil so I'm gonna add this to the cake batter as well. It's gonna make this cake super, super, super moist. And finally, some granulated sugar and then I'm gonna start creaming this batter. Let's crank it up. So I've been letting my batter cream for about maybe three to four minutes on a medium high speed. I really want to get this nice and airy because I really want to get a nice, beautiful, fluffy cake out of this. So next, I'm going to add my eggs one at a time to the batter. So now I'm gonna slow this down to about a low speed because we are going to start to alternate our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients that we combined earlier. So we wanna do this in intervals. So I'm going to start with a little bit of our flour. Make sure you do a couple scrapes of the bowl because you want all the ingredients mixed in. So now this batter is Perfect. It's gorgeous, it's silky, it's buttery, thanks to Lando Lakes. And now we gotta add in those blueberries I told you about. So I'm gonna actually turn this off because I don't want to overact the gluten. Whenever we start to over mix, like you're gonna get a tougher cake and we wanna keep this nice and tender. We wanna make sure this is fluffy and just the perfect texture. So as soon as those ingredients come together, Turn off your mixer, y'all. Turn off your mixer. So now we are going to fold in some blueberries. These are actually some fresh blueberries. You can also use frozen for this recipe. It's very adaptable. These blueberries are actually tossed in a little flour. This is gonna help the blueberries stay within that batter so they don't sink to the bottom when you're baking. It's gonna help a little bit. It's still 
gravity is gonna take control, so you're not gonna totally get them from sinking, but it's gonna help a, a nice amount. So now let's get this batter in our cake pans. I've got two eight inch pans and I've got some nonstick baking spray. You can also add parchment to the bottom and then spray on top for a nice lift. It's totally up to you. And now I'm going to divide our batter into two of the pans. For everyday baking, I just sort of gauge this and just play it by ear. You can kind of just look at it and you can tell that it's pretty even. If you wanna be super exact, I like to weigh my cake batter in my pans on a scale and you can make sure that the exact weight and then these will bake up to the perfect size, super even. So now I'm gonna pop these in our oven for about 30 to 35 minutes until a toothpick shows me that it's nice and clean and ready to go. So while our cakes are baking, I'm going to start on our cream cheese frosting. Don't you love cream cheese frosting? It really takes this cake over the edge and it's got such a tangy, sweet, but just fluffy texture and each bite is just irresistible, y'all. I'm gonna tell you right now, you may sneak a couple spoonfuls as you're making this, but I won't tell anyone who don't tell about my secret. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add my cream cheese and my butter right into our mixer to get started. I've got, of course, Lando Lakes butter here. I've been using the sticks this time for our butter cream. And then I've got some room temperature cream cheese. So I've got the butter and the cream cheese in my mixer, all room temperature, and then I'm gonna give this a little quick go. Next, I'm adding in a pinch of salt here. So next, I'm gonna start adding in my powdered sugar, and you wanna slow your mixer down because this can get a little messy. If you have a shield, this is a great time to use it. Then I'm gonna add in some vanilla extract and a little lemon juice. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our cream cheese frosting and I'm gonna separate it into three bowls because I think I wanna make a pretty ombre sort of effect on this cake. It'll really brighten it up and it'll feel really beautiful and springy. So I think I'm gonna do that with the blueberry jam we have. So to begin, I'm gonna take out about a third of our frosting, maybe a little bit more, that I'm not gonna actually tint at all. So I'm gonna add this to our bowl. Now I'm going to add in some of our blueberry jam. It's seedless. Okay, so now I'm gonna separate this out again. Look at that gorgeous lavender color. It's so pretty. Oops. All right, we've got some lavender, and then I'm going to crank this up one more time and add in a little bit more jam so we can get a really vibrant color. So now we're gonna add a quick crumb coat to this cake. Okay, now I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, let this firm up, and then we can continue to ice our cake. So we just took our cake out of the refrigerator. So the crumb coat is super, super, super locked in, super firm, which is what we need. You can just touch it and if it doesn't come off on your hands and it's not super sticky, it's pretty much ready to decorate. So we're gonna add our vanilla right to the top. Ooh, look at that. Hey there. <laughs> now we're gonna go in for our middle color. Then finally we'll get some on the bottom, the darker color. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bench scraper and go at an angle a little bit more and just with the, you know, just go on the sides and kind of clean up a little bit of the frosting. Keep 
here is our beautiful finished blueberry lemon layer cake made with Lando Lakes. Do you see all of this incredible blueberry bursting flavor mixed in with that buttery, lemony, yellow deliciousness with this cake layer? I mean, this is pretty spectacular, y'all. So enough talking, let's try to eat this. Oh my Lord. It literally is just like spring in a bite and I cannot wait to continue eating this, which means y'all gotta go. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Make sure you head to grandbaby-cakes.com to grab this recipe and so many more. And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out my weekly recipe videos.